Hi, in this tutorial I would like to show you the software MC22Hack by Defective Records. MC22Hack can load, edit and save musical data and modulations to the MC22 upgrade. Here you can see the software. We have a couple of tabs over here. Here are the settings for channel 1, channel 2 and channel 3. We have a modulation tab where we can adjust and control the modulations of the 202. We have a samples tab and several settings. First let's have a look at channel 1. Here we have a couple of options to modify patterns. Here we can select the pattern we want to edit. You can't see it right now because of the way I capture the video, but there's a list of patterns here. I can get the pattern currently saved in the MC202 by pressing get and here's my pattern. By pressing play I can preview it. I can modify some notes. I can also modify note lengths. Add or modify accents, filter accents, noise and portamento. We can also change the number of steps in that pattern and the clock divider. I can even change the play directions forward, backward and ping pong and so on. Then there are some cool randomizing features here. I can randomize the notes that are playing, but I can also randomize the note lengths and if it's the rest or not. And I can randomize all these independently. Here I can randomize the volume accent, filter accent, noise accent and portamento. And there are settings for relative probabilities of those settings. Also randomize the notes. And there's a number of scales I can use to quantize these notes. But again, you can't see them right now. There's a huge list here of about 20 scales. Not only can we modify the patterns, we can also modify the songs. Just press get to get the current song from the MC202 and then we can modify the, the song however we like and send it back to the MC202. Or we can load it from disk or save it to disk. You could also do the same on channel 2 and channel 3. Get some patterns, modify them, save them and so on. Another thing we can control is the modulations. I'm going to get my pattern real quick and play it. And now I can modify the modulations here. Let's start with the filter LFO. We can change the amount, and the speed. We can change the waveform. Then if we sync the... Then if we... If we, sit, if we sync the LFO, we can change the divider for that. Set the LFO delay and um, set if... And set the LFO delay. These are all the settings that you can also perform in the MC202, but this way it might be easier to control. Let's change the filter ADSR amount, attack, ok, sustain or release. You can also change the same for the pulse width. And then we have the filter accent settings, of course. 
And in order to hear the noise, I will just change the filter real quick. And now we can change the noise settings. Another great feature of the MC2.2 software is the ability to create and modify the samples. I quickly made a couple of voice samples. I have a bass drum mm. and we can preview mm. it here in the software as well. I have a snare drum, a couple of um, other samples. This might be a no idea what that could be. Maybe this is a hi-hat <laughs> symbol, right? And then I have two vocal samples as well. Let's call this one here. Hack. Hack. And this one is obviously 202. 202. So we can assign names to those. I think I will call this one PB. This is my hi hat. This is my symbol. Hack. Hack. Two o. Two o two. And now I can just upload the samples to the MC two o two by pressing send. That takes a while. We'll be right back. Now that we have uploaded our samples, let's listen to them on the MC202. <laughs> hack. Hack. 202. Hack. 202. Hack. 202. 202. Hack. 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 